Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the Gold Coast vs St Kilda game, going through who went well. Well, it wasn't really anyone in particular for my sake, but also who went badly and again it wasn't really for me. This wasn't the bad game of the round that set up, sort of a, just a, wasn't necessarily a mediocre round for me, but then again it wasn't that knockout blow that would have landed me top 2000 or so. So before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload, and let's get into the video. So as you can see here, Rory Atkins top scorer with a 1-2-2, two, two. he had just a 55 point third where I'm pretty sure he kicked a goal, or did he hit two? No, he just kicked a goal. And then had a 29, 18, and 20 outside of that. So yeah, just um, a ri ridiculous game from him, and I don't expect that to occur again. So I wouldn't be bringing him in as he was a sub a couple weeks ago. Um, Flanders here, 32, 30, 35, 23. Another ridiculous game, and he is kind of an option as he's averaged 100 the last three, and I believe 90. Um, if we look at Flanders here... Um, we see here 96, if I make this a little bit bigger, 96 last three and 88 last five, and that 88 includes a uh, time affected 54. So you could argue that that is around actually that 90 or so range for that last five. Will Power 118, he got off to a solid start as well. I was going to say I thought it was more um, first half based, and it was, but it was in the second quarter. So he started off a little bit slow, but then got a lot of, um, you can see here, uh, a good chunk of kick mark. I'm surprised, and that might be just a, in general, he got a kick off outside of a mark here. Um, yeah, you can see here, three marks involved, four marks at least, yeah. Four marks and a couple of tackles will do it, because that's right there is 20 points outside of the... 29 non uh, 29 disposal points and then a 26 24 50 point second half got him to the 118 wits 108 dominated the hit outs in this matchup marshall couldn't get anywhere near him and yeah so he ended up with the 108 miller is someone that i've looked at bringing in and i think actually could be someone to um to bring in as he's 21-34, 21-32. Um, so I think he's certainly someone that you could look to bring in. And yeah, he looks primed to go. So I'm just wondering if it's the perfect time to get him in at like 820k or so. Um, Ainsworth, Raul, Ellis, Anderson, Lacocious, Nick Ferson, all these guys sort of don't really matter too much. Holman, Swallow, Holland, Long, Collins, Humphrey, Humphrey again, so just getting him out if you do still have him as he's now in the 400Ks. King, um, Oia, Casbolt, Andrew, Ballard, and then Fiorini came on a sub, ruining his break even. And I'd be getting rid of it. Then we move over to St Kilda, and somehow Jack Steele top scored for them, even after an 11 first quarter. He got going in the second with a 35, then a 32, then a 28, and he looks good at this point. Then you have Winger Dean Malira, who's pretty actually, he was pretty bad with the ball actually this week in terms of just um, delivery. I'm pretty sure he ended up with a lot of turnovers, a lot of clangers. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see more of Sinclair kicking out or some or Hill kicking out in the next couple of weeks as he did burn a couple of them. And it did cause, uh, I think, Gold Coast to kick a couple unneeded goals. Then you have Windhager here, who was tracking all right. He was doing pretty good. And then a 41-point last quarter where he just took a cut. He took one, two. He took only two marks, but then he also landed one, two, three tackles as well. So that, that in total is um, 18 points non-disposal. And then you've got... Um, might even be more. Is it long? Yeah, it is more actually. Because you see one, two, three, four tackles there. So that's already, that's 22 points non disposal and then 19 disposal points. And he's just been good as well because he's 
He smashed his break even, went up to, what are we at now for him? We are at 522k, and he's got, uh, let's look at this. This will be updated surely. Wind Hager's got a break even of 24, so he could easily grow, grow up to that um, 580, 590k very quickly. And I might even be able to hold him for a week and use my other assets in Chesser or something like that as I've got 66k and Chesser is 366, uh, 362. So that's effectively 220, um, 220k on top of Darcy Cameron. So 220k on top of Darcy Cameron could be able to get me up to a dunks or it could be able to get dunks out of keys if um, he doesn't perform well. So hopefully one of those two performs well. Already probably spoiling my trades there. Then you've got Marshall here. Um, he just got alive in the last quarter basically and tried to whittle the St. Kilda onto victory but they ended up losing by 20 odd, 26 points here. But yeah, he just didn't do it in the ruck matchup at all. And really struggled. So yeah, really just a down game from him. But most people competitively have him, so it didn't really matter too much. Wilkie 97 doesn't really matter. Crouch 89 got off to a really hot start and then fell away. I'm not too worried about this. I mean, who do they have next week? They have. Um, they've got North, Hawthorne, Carlton, Richmond. They have a really sweet run for the next four weeks, so I'm not really worried about the St Kilda guys. And we'll just wait and see with them. Sinclair, Sinclair, the same sort of thing, just didn't get involved in the game, and that was one of his worst games of the year, so we'll just um, monitor that, I guess. But I don't think I'll be trading him out. Hill, Jones, Sharman... Gresham, Woods, Owens, Battle, Paris did really well actually for a rookie. I think he he might have even got subbed out at three quarter time. Looking at this, but um, did he get subbed out at three quarter time? Must have not, considering he's here and and Battle's there. I uh, Clark's there. Sorry, so he didn't get subbed out. I don't know who did get subbed out this game. But um, yeah, so he was really good. Didn't get involved in the last quarter, but. 57 from him is absolutely huge and could actually um, could actually use if he gets selected oopsie gets selected again I could use him um, could use him instead of uh, the likes of our um, banks as well because I feel like he probably has better scoring and also in the next couple of weeks he will grow faster than banks which will be better. And then no one else here really too, um, too noticeable. And that's yeah, basically the video there. So that's the video of the Gold Coast vs St Kilda game. And I'll see you guys back here with another recap. Thanks guys. Goodbye.